with the bump. Uh. But what you need, posse straight tripping with the bump. Yeah. I took a jam, made this all on the hump. Made you hush and you rush, cause your throat caught a lump. Kill that real whack track, it's probably what you quote. Kill that little mm -hmm. fat fatty party that you wrote. It's the new game, get out, give me my five minutes of fame, I'm in. Mean. Roll as I proclaim yeah. the name with a band. Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited today. Uh, I just know God has you at the right place at the right time. And today our subject is going to be on the Los Angeles Gospel Artist Network. And if you're a singer, you want to be a singer, or you just may be singing the shower, you need to tune in today. Call someone up. Amen. Today, our very special guests, we have uh, Pastor Calvin B. Rome, and we have D. D. Ray. <laughs> Dine Green, amen, of the um, Denote Media Solutions. I got it right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the broadcast. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take this time and just to interrupt the broadcast. Today's subject is simply awesome. L.A. Gospel Artist Network. And it's designed for singers, musicians, anybody in the industry. Maybe you're a promoter. Maybe you're a, a producer. And we have all kinds of people coming in. There is Brother Green of Denote Media Solutions to help you to get that gift and that talent together at the L.A. Gospel Artist Network. It's designed for you. Even if you don't want a record deal, you know, uh, you just may want to come in there and learn how to dress, how to present your gift gift that God has given you under the pastorship of Calvin Bernard Rome, an anointed man of God. He, he's just a blessing. He's full of the Holy Ghost. So without further ado, you know, I'm going to get back to the broadcast, but I just really, really want you to write the number down, 562-864-4474. Call us because you need to be there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you know, I just maybe want you to pretty much do the same thing. I know you have a church, mm -hmm. a beautiful church located on Vermont. Vermont, 107th in Vermont. Okay, it's called the Hope of Glory. Hope of Glory Christian Center. Amen, and I've been there, and the anointing of God is just powerful there. Praise God. God is Praise there. God. And uh, the Lord, I, apparently, he dropped in your heart to start this gospel networking. Uh, Absolutely. The what is, tell me about it. What is it? How does all this right. all come about? The Los Angeles uh, Gospel Artist Network is a, it's a fellowship okay. of Christian artists, also uh, managers, promoters, producers, anyone involved in the music aspect of the Christian ministry okay. is welcome to be a part of it. And what we strive to do primarily is to um, network okay. so that resources are made available to those who need them. Artists need management, artists need um, producers, songwriters, mm -hmm. whatever they may need. Uh, I believe those needs can be met as we come together and network and share what we're doing. Okay. Uh, so we plan to network. Next, we plan to navigate. Okay. Um, not that I'm into a East Coast, West Coast thing, but right. I think that uh, the West Coast, the West Coast Ministry of Music is not as present or visible in the industry okay. as other parts of the country. So we're striving to navigate uh, the presence of West Coast gospel artists okay. in the industry to help them get more visible, to help their ministries, you know, reach out to a, mm -hmm. far, a, a broader audience. Okay. So we're trying to navigate the presence of West Coast gospel artists in the industry. Amen. And then most importantly, and my greatest emphasis is nourishment. Praise we want God. to 
uh, develop a sense of nourishment. We all need spiritual nourishment. Amen. And when you're in music ministry, you understand the challenges that you face, and therefore you understand the challenges that other artists, mm -hmm. musicians, managers, whatever the case may be, will face. Okay. And the idea is to develop a fellowship mm -hmm. where it's a safe haven yes. for okay. artists who just about get burnt out or maybe they go into a town and the promoter ran off with the money or they didn't get treated as they thought they should. Mm -hmm. They can come back to a place where they will find appreciation, they will find love and most of all prayer, yes. a biblical emphasis because in all of our fellowships right now we begin with spiritual insight from the Bible so that we understand that we're all Always about ministry Amen. and not just about entertainment performing. and money. Absolutely. Uh -huh. money. Yeah. Not just about performing. It is uh -huh. about ministering yes. first to the Lord and yes. then to the people that He allows us to come before. Amen. Amen. Now, you're a recording artist. I'm a recording artist, songwriter, and all about that kind which, of stuff. Who are you? <laughs> you know, some people may not know who you are. Calvin Bernard Rome. Um, Nationally, I was introduced through uh, the Reverend James Cleveland. I was a songwriter musician for the Los Angeles Gospel uh, Messengers, okay. organized around 1980. Okay. And um, uh, I was nationally acknowledged for my songwriting through the song Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I was um, performed at Madison Square Garden at one of the national conventions of the Gospel Music Workshop of America. Okay. After that we began branching out and growing the door of opportunity open and we wrote for Tremaine Hawkins and uh, Minister Daryl Coley, um, Albertina Walker, Cassette, the late Cassetta George and, and many other groups mm -hmm. and choirs and mm -hmm. so we've been working in the music industry. 1992 we signed as a solo artist with CGI Records out of okay. Chicago okay. and uh, we released four CDs on that label okay. and uh, so we've, we've, we've been pretty busy. I've, I've been doing this since eight Eight years old. The nation may have not known yeah. about it, <laughs> but I started since I was eight, and this is all I've done, you know, all Amen. of my life. So, so I'm, I, I believe that I, my life is a testimony that if you do what God wants you to do, yes, He will always provide yeah. for you. So that really qualifies you for this gospel artist networking. I feel you have something to say to young people absolutely. that are I, absolutely. just now getting into that. Uh, yeah. Feel. Yes, I, I think that my major qualification is just the fact that God has given it to me to do. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's something that he's given me to add to the industry. And you know, I remember when I first met you, when I first met you at uh, one of the announcer guild meetings and you were ministering for Christmas and mm -hmm. I heard you sing the anointing of God. And that's what a lot of times the artists lose. They may sound beautiful and it's just going as high as the ceiling. Mm -hmm. but when you were ministering it was going up into the heavenly least. That's mm. the kind of anointing that I believe the artist should have that the lame will start walking and Absolutely. the blind eyes will open and people be healed and delivered and want to be saved. Absolutely. An anointing of God. And then you have to be clean. So it's a lot yes. of teaching in there. Oh yes. Be you know, so I, I you know, I just love it because uh, it's it's really a blessing and you said you start singing at eight and I know you Well I start I, my professional career began yes. at eight. I start singing at four. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Okay. My auntie took me to church and made me stand on the stool, and I had to yes. sing, Yes, Jesus loved me. Yes, <laughs> praise the Lord. And that began the singing. Amen, amen, amen. amen. So, um, now, is this open to any artist? You know, do they have to have made recordings, or they no. could just anybody can no. come that sings? As a matter oh. of fact, I prefer to target those who do not have a recording yeah. contract, okay. those who would like to, okay. and those who may, m probably would not like to have a recording uh, deal. Okay. I want to, it, it's for anyone who has a music ministry. Okay. Managers who want to do, uh, manage artists. Yes. Uh, promoters who want to promote gospel so that we can bring the focus and the center back to Christ. Yes. Amen. And not just, you know, entertainment, performing, and not right. just making money. All of those things are involved. Yeah. We're not against that. We're right. not against making as much money as you can. Yes, amen. As much as God will uh, open the door for you to receive, Amen. but let's make sure that we keep the distinction yeah. of our dedication to the Lord. You know, when you're saying that, I, it's one thing where you having money or money having you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Are they seeing you or are they seeing God? Yes. You know, so yes. those kind of things to be taught in the uh, networking workshops. That Now, how often are you going to have these workshops? Right. Uh, well, we began March in, uh, I okay. believe it was March, our first, March, and we were doing it monthly. Monthly. So we it'll took be a